Okay, so this video is in response to a Facebook post uh, talking about creating a spinning propeller for an airplane for Crazy Talk Animator. Uh, this is the flash version of how to do this. So uh, I'm going to start by creating a little circle here to represent the center of the propeller. And I'm going to immediately turn that into a symbol by going to Modify, Convert to Symbol, and give it a name doesn't really matter what it is as long as the pivot point is in the, right in the center so there it is I'm also going to next um, I'm gonna create the actual like propeller part All right, that should be more than adequate for now. So this part, I'm just gonna cut it. Control X. I'm gonna double click on the center part and create a new layer there. I'm going to paste it in the center. Just gonna do that. I'm gonna put that little tip right on the center there. That way we have nice and aligned convert that into a symbol too that way we can just duplicate it doesn't matter what you name it put it at the bottom and boom so now we can duplicate it control D realign it and we're just gonna spin it along that center alright so we're just gonna move this to the bottom now these propellers I'm gonna turn them white to be consistent with the one being used in the demo I'm also going to change the stroke size to maybe uh, five. I don't know. That should be more than enough. I'm going to turn this to like a light gray. All right, so now we have that going on. And so now that we have the propeller, we have a full propeller with a little registration point in the center. So now we just got to animate it. So we're going to make sure it's, we place it anywhere we want. And we're going to go maybe to frame. We're going to do like a very slow uh, rotation first. Um, I'm going to make it maybe, mm, let's do a, let's do 10. Insert keyframe. Oops. Insert keyframe. And then right click, create classic tween. This tween, select anywhere in the middle, look in your properties panel, and adjust the type of tween that you want. This is going to be a counterclockwise rotation. So that's it. Now it's spinning. Easy as that. So when we hit Control Enter, we can preview our animation. And we have something that looks like that. Okay. Now we can adjust it, the speed, maybe 20 frames, control enter. So that's a, no, that's the, a slower rate. Let's do a full second to do a full rotation, control enter. All right, so basically what we can do here is we can start exporting. So we're going to do export, export movie. We're going to call this slow. All right. We're going to speed it up. We're going to go to 20. We're going to export it. Control Alt Shift S. Uh, S. We're going to call it medium. We're going to make it even faster by reducing it down to 10. And export it. You're going to call it fast. And we're going to bring it down to 5. We're going to call this fastest. So we got different speeds going. All right. All, and all we're doing is just changing the, the, the speed. It's so fast you can you can barely tell what's going on. 
All right, so let's see here. We're going to call this fastest. Okay, so we're going to take a look inside of Crazy Talk Animator now. And I've been exporting these here. So there's slow, medium, fast, and fastest. So we're going to take the slow one first. And actually, you know what? I'm going to export one more. We're going to call this static. We're just going to remove everything. And we're just going to export it as is. That way we have a version of it that's not actually moving. So I'm going to put that one at the top there. So I'm going to drag the first one, my static one. I'm going to drop it in there. All right. So next I'm going to open up the... Actually, I'm going to go into the prop editor. And let's see if I'm able to do this from in here. And I'm going to start adding the slow one, medium, fast, fastest. All right. And that's it. So basically, we go back. And now if you get these little straight edges, that's fine. You could just uh, go here and select the uh, smooth deform option. Uh, should be here somewhere. There it is. So that gives you a full like smooth the form and the cool thing about uh, Doing it in vector is that you can also have the benefit of adjusting certain things that you may not uh, Have gotten correctly the first time for example, you can change the outline weight if you wanted to uh, And of course you can vector uh, group these things and change the colors at will and stuff. So that's another benefit So we're gonna close that so basically at this point, you know, we hit play. Right now it's nothing. Then I switch to my slow sprite. And it's there. Switch to my medium sprite. It's there. Switch to my fast sprite. It's there. Switch to the fastest. And it's there. All right. So that's pretty much all you need. If you want to get fancier with it, of course, you can... Um, you can go here, switch to the first one, go to collect clip, right click here, add to action menu, static, switch to slow, add to action menu, slow, switch to medium, right click, Add to action menu, medium, fast, add to action menu, name it fast, and switch to the fastest one, add to action menu, and that's all we're doing. So now, right now we have the we have that, that fastest one enabled so we we'll right click go to action menu you have these options here so let's switch to slow and let's say at frame 40 you want to switch to medium and then here you want to switch to fast and then let's say you want to start winding down back to slow maybe immediately jump to slow and we go back and stop it okay static so now it stays still so now we have something that looks like that okay so you have multiple options there really quick to work with really easy to use it's not that bad okay so as you can see if you do have access to flash it's actually a little bit faster more convenient uh, to work with an outside tool than to try to do everything inside of CTA 